Some of the biggest crowds at HAI 2015 were around one of the smallest helicopters. Hello everyone, it's Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb. And here's Bruno Gimbel to tell us about the Cabri G2 and its introduction to North America. This is behind me the Cabri G2, the helicopter that we manufacture for now a few years and that we are very proud to introduce in the American market today. Uh, it gained its uh, certification from the FAA uh, last month after a year of uh, process uh, and uh, it gained his its European certification five years ago and we have delivered hundreds of them uh, in many countries, in 22 countries in the world. The, the purpose of this development was uh, to make a two-seat helicopter with a new technology that you can find on big helicopters. And uh, the, the, main, the main purpose was to develop a, a two-seat helicopter with good qualities for training. So this is uh, what we did and this is wh where we have some success now because uh, we are selling mostly for the training market at the beginning. Uh, of course, uh, when you can do good training in a helicopter, you can do many other missions. And now we have uh, a growing market for uh, other missions than training. Um, what our customers found is that when you train on the Cabri, you are much more, uh, much more quickly uh, comfortable with a big helicopter. The, the enclosed air rotor is uh, a very, uh, very well-known technology uh, known as the Fenestron for Eurocopter. This is basically the same technology and it has proven extremely safe because a lot of accidents, incidents uh, come in a small helicopter from contact with a tail rotor. Uh, the performance is that of a piston engine helicopter. It's not a turbine, so um, it's a heavy engine. It's a heavy but reliable and uh, an inexpensive engine. So the performance is similar or better to other piston engine helicopters. But the speed is better and the noise is lower. We, we have developed uh, the helicopter with an attractive cockpit to attract a modern pilot looking for nice avionics. So you can have it with a full, uh, a full choice of GPS, uh, transponders, uh, radios, and we have a large, large range of that. Gimbel's first U.S. customer was Precision Helicopters of Newburgh, Oregon. For more information, go to gimbal.com. This has been Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb. Thanks for watching.